Foreign Secretary Liz Truss condemned Russia's behavior on Ukraine as Western states fear Moscow is planning an assault on its neighbor. The Kremlin haven't learnt the lessons of history. They dream of recreating the Soviet Union or a kind of greater Russia, carving up territory based on ethnicity and language. They claim they want stability while they work to threaten and destabilize others. We know what lies down that path and the terrible toll in lives lost and human suffering it brings. She spoke at the Lowy Institute think tank in Sydney on Friday. That's why we urge President Putin to desist and step back from Ukraine before he makes a massive strategic mistake. Truss warned Russia that an invasion would not only mean massive consequences in terms of sanctions from the UK and its allies, but that it could also end up as a quagmire. Ukraine is a proud country with a long history. They have known invading forces before, from the Mongols to the Tatars. They suffered through the state-sponsored famine. Their resilience runs deep. If they have to, Ukrainians will fight to defend their country. Invasion will only lead to a quagmire, as we know from the Soviet-Afghan war. Russian President Vladimir Putin seized control of Ukraine's Crimea Peninsula in 2014 and backed a separatist insurgency in eastern Ukraine. Moscow faced limited international consequences for those moves, but the West says a new invasion would be different. Truss also called on the UK's allies to respond in unity to the threat. We need everyone to step up. Together with our allies, we will continue to stand with Ukraine and urge Russia to de-escalate. What happens in Eastern Europe matters for the world. Threats to freedom, democracy and the rule of law aren't just regional, they're global. Truss and Defence Secretary Ben Wallace met their Australian counterparts for the annual Australia-United Kingdom ministerial consultation. To reduce tensions, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov met in Geneva on Friday. Both of them said they didn't expect a breakthrough in the meeting. Afterwards, Blinken sought to project unity and a tough stance after U.S. President Joe Biden earlier this week suggested allies were split over how to react to any potential minor incursion from Russia. We've been clear. If any... Russian military forces move across Ukraine's border, that's a renewed invasion. It will be met with swift, severe, and a united response from the United States and our partners and allies. Lincoln said that Washington had agreed to provide written comments to Russia after Moscow demanded security guarantees, including a pledge that Ukraine will never be able to join NATO. That could at least delay any imminent aggression for a few days. I can't say whether we're on the right track or not. We'll understand that when we receive the U.S.'s written response to all of our proposals. Lavrov repeated Russian assertions that it poses no threat to its neighbor. Kostemenes, NTD News.